It doesn't matter whether you are sitting still, working out, taking a walk, dancing, or watching this video, there are numerous internal processes in your body that simply never stop. All physical and metabolic activities in your body produce heat, meaning that they are exothermic processes. Heat is an unavoidable byproduct of the work being done by millions of cells inside your body. With so much work being done all the time, it's critical for the body to shed some of that waste heat. It accomplishes this in various ways, dumping heat to the surroundings by circulating blood near the surface of the skin, by exhaling warm and humidified air, and by the process of evaporation of sweat. As a result, the body gets cooled down, maintaining its optimum 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit and functioning efficiently. It's critically important that your body stays at this ideal temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. If it doesn't, many bodily functions start to break down. The cells and the metabolic reactions that happen within them occur most efficiently at these temperatures. At high or extremely low internal body temperatures, chemicals in the body could begin to break apart. If the ambient temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, we start to feel hot because our bodies are not able to shed the heat they produce as a result of those metabolic activities within the body that makes us feel warm. Our body works best when the ambient temperature is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, there is a stable difference in the temperatures of the body and its surroundings. Consequently, heat transfer occurs as heat travels from a region of high energy, our body, to a region of low energy, our surroundings. However, if both the body and its surroundings are at the same temperature, there is no temperature difference, so there is no heat transfer between these two entities. The body is, therefore, unable to get rid of the excess energy it possesses, which is why it feels hot when the ambient temperature is 37 degrees. So why is 37 degrees Celsius the ideal body temperature? Why not 35 degrees or 40? Basically, 37 degrees is an optimum temperature to prevent nasty bacterial and fungal growth. The number of fungal species that can thrive declines by 6% for every 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. This is primarily why cold-blooded animals like amphibians and reptiles are susceptible to thousands of fungal species, whereas only a few fungal species can harm humans and other warm-blooded animals. The idea that 37 degrees Celsius is the ideal body temperature was originated by Dr. Karl Wunderlich, a 19th century German physician who analyzed over 25,000 patients and recorded his observations. While some of his observations have stood the test of time, his definition of a normal body temperature has been debunked. Firstly, women tend to have higher body temperatures than men. Also, younger people have higher body temperatures than older people. Thus, the ideal body temperature varies among individuals, as it depends on each individual's basal metabolic rate. Normal body temperature also varies throughout the course of a day. And finally, human beings are generally getting cooler. In short, the ideal body temperature is no longer 37 degrees Celsius, but actually closer to 36.4.